Hi, my name is Evgenia Tarasova, but you may call me Jenna. I'm a PhD student at Purdue University, and my advisor is Dr. Bernd Ulrich, and I'm on the job market. My research is in residual intersections, which are a generalization of linkage. But you may be asking me, what is linkage and what are residual intersections? Well, the history of linkage begins in algebraic geometry. So let's give a geometric definition. If we let V and W be reduced and irreducible projective varieties of the same codimension G, such that V does not equal to W, we can say that V and W are linked if their union is schemed theoretically an intersection of G hypersurfaces. This was used in the 19th century to classify curves in P3. This was then further generalized into residual intersections. If we let V and W be projective varieties such that W is not contained in V, and let W have codimension S greater than or equal to the codimension of V, we say that W is an S residual intersection of V if their union is schemed theoretically an intersection of S hypersurfaces. This has applications to intersection theory and enumerative geometry. But this definition doesn't allow for subschemes with possibly common components, so we get an algebraic definition. Let's start with an algebraic definition of linkage. Let i and j be ideals in an Euclidean local ring R. If there exists an ideal A generated by a regular sequence, such that i is equal to A colon j and j is equal to A colon i, then i and j are said to be linked. More generally, j is an S residual intersection of i if there exists an ideal A generated by S elements contained in i, such that j is equal to a colon i and the codimension of j is greater than or equal to s. Note that if r is Gorenstein, i is unmixed, and s is equal to the height of i, we get back linkage. Now, both linkage and residual intersections can be used to study co-Macaulay properties, Gorenstein properties, and canonical modules. In fact, this is a well-trod and broadly researched path. One should also note that we can find the generators of a link through a mapping cone construction. However, the generators of residual intersections are not as well understood. They've only been computed in certain cases. Suppose that R is cone Macaulay. Then we know the generators of the residual intersection, J, when I is a complete intersection, when I is an almost complete intersection, when I is a perfect ideal of I2, when R mod I is Gorenstein, and I is of height 3, and for certain height I plus 1 residual intersections. This leaves plenty of room for acceleration, and that's where my research finds its home. In my first project, I showed that, under suitable technical assumptions on I, given an ideal I and s greater than or equal to the number of generators of i minus 2, one may express the s residual intersections of i in terms of number of i, number of generators of i minus 2 residual intersections and a fitting ideal. Moreover, if the number of generators of i is less than or equal to the height of i plus 3 and some additional hypotheses that are satisfied, the s residual intersections may be expressed in terms of links and a fitting ideal. This is particularly useful as, again, the generators of links are well understood. Now, one of the, these technical assumptions is a depth condition, which is not satisfied by ideals generated by 2 by 2 minors of 2 by n matrices when n is greater than or equal to 4. This leads to my second research project and my champ talk, where I showed that the residual intersections of ideals generated by 2 by 2 minors of 2 by n matrices when n is greater than or equal to 4 can be written as the sum of links. In the future, I am interested in exploring the connection between residual intersections and sums of links. Based on my previous results, I have found non-overlapping sufficient criteria for a residual intersection being equal to the sum of links or the sum of links and a fitting ideal. This leads to a natural question. Is it possible to find a necessary criteria for a residual intersection being equal to the sum of links? Thank you very much.